And we are welcoming in a congressman at the forefront of the UAP hearing, U.S. Representative Tim Burchett from Tennessee. Congressman Burchett, it's so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Natasha. Let's start with the Pentagon launching that new website. It does provide some declassified information on UFOs, including pictures and video, so the public can take a look. Now, you've said about uh, this, the Pentagon smells dollars. What do you mean by that? Well, since 1947, the Pentagon has denied that UFOs even exist. And now all of a sudden they're they're saying they exist. And it's ironic that it's right after Chuck Schumer has said that he's going to put something in the NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act, to in fact um, to, to uh, screen photos that if they have any national defense or national security implications that they won't be able to put them out. So what they've done is put another layer of government, more dollars. You know, the Pentagon loses a billion dollars a year easily. Um, they've never passed an audit. At some points, they've had 60 percent of their military of, our, of their assets unaccounted for anywhere else. And you'd be in handcuffs. What do we do with the Pentagon? We reward them with more tax dollars every year. So this, to me, shows nothing. I, you all as journalists and me as a, as a congressman, I just want transparency. Yeah. I want them to release the files that they have. And I know you've called for that over and over again. It sounds like ultimately you don't feel that this website will be useful or reveal anything we haven't seen before. No, ma'am. As a matter of fact, the stuff that's on it already is old stuff. You know, they denied that the Tic Tac videos even existed. Um, that are you can Google Tic Tac video on YouTube and and watch them. Um, and 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 they denied they even existed. And then. They were they were leaked and they said they were fakes. And then they had the audio of the pilots and they turned out to be some of the best pilots in the world. And uh, they were forced to have to to come forward with that saying then. So I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. I've said before, I think the Pentagon is mostly a bunch of war pimps. All they're doing is selling war. And we just roll out the cash for them. And you it's know, unfortunate. I, I want to pick up on what you said about transparency a moment ago, because since these hearings, you've been saying, just bring me transparency. So, so what do you think the important next step is? What concrete step do you want to see? I would like to see the files released to the American public. You know, you're talking about in Washington, D.C., that we're only released the Kennedy assassination files. Nobody's even alive in any of those that, that 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 dealt with that assassination or that was involved in it. Yet with these UFOs, it's almost a, a weekly occurrence. I talk to pilots all the time. We're we're blocked from talking to pilots. They are they are basically um, you know they'll be reprimanded if they do come forward. I had a I had an amendment to the FAA, the Federal uh, Aviation Authorization Reauthorization Act, and um, to just say if if a commercial pilot spots a ufo or uap or some kind of aerial phenomena that in the report that they make to the faa that they have to issue that report to congress well guess what the intelligence community not the committee the community told congress they were un uneasy with that so the gutless bunch in congress both parties decided not even to hear the hear the amendment that i had proposed so if they don't exist they sure are spending a hell of a lot of time and money and effort to um, to stop us from seeing their files, I, I suspect there's greed, there's money, there's reverse engineering, there's all kinds of things that are involved in this. And um, until we get some transparency, we'll never get to the bottom of and, it. And Congressman, yeah, Congressman, you've said that you are a hundred percent sure the federal government is covering up documents about UFOs. In your view, what is the government's motive for a lack of transparency on UAPs? That's a good question. Um, there's a uh, compartmentalization of this. You have an incredible in these videos you're watching. There is no there's no heat signature. These things are defying any kind of uh, you know, we had the pilots in our testimony swear that that these things were um, there's nothing on the planet Earth or any of our enemies or allies have that could do anything like this yet. There's an energy source in there that doesn't put off a heat signature. Could you imagine what that would do? to the to the Pentagon, they would be out of business. For one, we wouldn't need to be fighting these worthless oils over a barrel of oil in the Middle East. We could heat our homes in the winter. Poor folks could could stay cool in the summer. We might be able to power our automobiles and other things with this energy source. Yet it's um, to me, there's something else aloof, ma'am. And it's generally in Washington, D.C. It's about greed. It's about power and it's about control. And you combine all those things into this. And I suspect there's some some truth in that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.